But today we are going to focus on the IBM apprenticeships. We are going to talk about what you need to do, the apprenticeship programs, the eligibility requirements, and where to look for and find these opportunities. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Redol ABC. In case you've not noticed, I got to 1,000 subscribers! <laughs> oh my god, that was a lot. So as a way of giving back to my viewers and my subscribers, the first two people to comment, congratulations on 1,000 subscribers, are going to get free CV reviews. So all you have to do is just drop a comment and I am going to reach out to the first two people to drop a comment anyways today we're going to talk about ibm apprenticeships about four or five months ago i made a video on microsoft apprenticeships i'm going to link the video up here and i spoke about what the eligibility requirements are what you need to do and the available opportunities at microsoft and quite a lot of companies actually do apprenticeships we have google we have amazon we have microsoft we have accenture we have ibm and a lot of large corporations like that who offer apprenticeship programs but today we're going to focus on the ibm apprenticeships we're going to talk about what you need to do the apprenticeship programs the eligibility requirements and where to look for and find these opportunities so if you're looking to switch careers and pivot into entry-level tech roles ibm offers free online courses and these online courses comes with certificates on completion of those courses at no cost to you when i mean at no cost i mean at no cost at all you don't have to write an application as we have on coursera you don't need to do anything all you have to do is just to take the course and it's totally free for you they have different pathways they have cyber security they have project management they have data analytics they have customer success different pathways like that so on completion of those courses ibm has an apprenticeship program that is specific to this skill set. So the same way I said, we have cyber security, project management, data analytics. We have apprenticeships that are tailored to this specific skill set as well. And on completion of these apprenticeships, you can actually apply for full-time roles at IBM. So on completion of your courses and you've gotten your certificates, IBM also has a personal development track where you have access to information and resources surrounding LinkedIn optimization, CV writing, interview preparation and different things like that just so you are prepared for the job market and tech opportunities that will come your way on completion of those courses so the first thing you want to do of course is to go to ibm.com slash skills so i'm going to go to the laptop right now instead of going to ibm.com slash skills you can also go to skillsbuild.org so that's where i am right now once you navigate and scroll down you see this place where it says explore resources for learners educators organizations but what we're interested in is learners right so i'm clicking on learners right now so once you've clicked on learners it's going to redirect you here right and then you see high school students college students and adult learners but we're adult learners right so but if you're a college student you can also click on here high school students you can click here but I'm going to select the adult learning track, right? So I'm clicking on adult learning here. And after I've clicked on that, it redirects me as well. You scroll down, you see, find the job that is right for you. You can see cyber security, data analyst, project manager, customer service representative. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to click on cyber security, for example. And once you've clicked on cyber security, we direct you here, right? So you can see the other options, data analyst, project manager, customer service representative. Because we've clicked on cyber security, that's why we have this showing here. So you see there is an option here, start learning for free. We click on that. So as you can see at a glance, they are telling you what the, what the course offers you, right? Here, there is a summary of the course itself and here they're telling you you can earn a foundational badge six hours they said courses are available in english german french spanish japanese brazilian portuguese italian hindi and other languages like that and here they also tell you that the fortinet network security expert program offers additional courses and certifications so when you scroll down you get to see other details about the course but let's try and do a demo on how to start the course right so let's click on start learning for free you can see you're logging with google linkedin ibm id logging with custom id but we're going to try using google so here they're asking you to pick a language i'm going to select english the cursor is already here so i'm going to click on continue then it directs me here and then you can see step one please select your areas of interest 
you can see job roles, you can see professional skills, you can see technology skills. If you scroll down, you see ways of working, job readiness. So as I was speaking earlier on, I said on completion of your courses, you can go on to a personal development track, right? And take on courses relating to LinkedIn optimization, resume writing, interview preparation, and all of that. That's what we have here on that job readiness, right? So let's scroll up because what we're trying to do is take a course, right? So job roles, we're clicking on cyber security analyst here. And professional skills, let's click on digital literacy. Technology skills, let's click on, say artificial intelligence, right? Then agile methodology for ways of working. Resume writing is already selected for job readiness, right? So after doing that, we're gonna click on click on after doing that, they direct us to the next step, right? So you can see your full name, your profile photo. You can change it if you're interested. My email address is there, my country, or the name of the LMS platform is Open Skills Build, right? And then we'll click on done here. And let's click on skip tutorial, right? But you can take the tutorial so that you can learn the basics of navigating the website, right? But we're skipping it here. So I've been directed here after creating my profile. Everything that will be recommended to me on this page will be based on the information I already selected from the previous pages, right? So once you click on this drop down here, you get to see your channel subscriptions, the courses you've queued, your learning assignments, and your learning invitations as well as your completion and your recent activities. So what we want to do is we are going to scroll down here, right? Because we want to start the course. So you can see recommendations here. We are going to click on digital credentials. Once you've clicked on digital credentials, you are directed here. So you can see selected for you by experts, obviously based on information that you've selected prior to this page. So what we want to take is cybersecurity fundamentals. You can see it takes six hours to complete this course. and over 5,000 people have taken and completed the course. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here. After we are directed here, we click on go to this activity. Then we're directed to the home page of where we can start our course. So you can see modules, introduction, overview of cybersecurity, cybersecurity and the offense and other modules. So what we want to start with is our introduction. So I'm clicking here. And you can see getting started, click here. And it directs us here where you can start your course. As you can see, it takes 10 minutes to complete this particular module. And that is how to create a profile and start taking courses for free on IBM Skills Build. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've been able to catch a thing or two. Do not forget to smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. And I will see you in the next video.